In today's class, we are going to study a sensitive poem titled Home They Brought Her Warrior Dead, written by Alfred Tennyson. The title of the poem is a figurative expression, meaning, see, the position of the verb is changed. Why? To reduce the terrifying experience or shock. The poem is a sad one, depicting the sad fate of a typical soldier's family. Now, we shall slowly read the poem and I will explain you. I, I want you all to keep a pen and a copy in your hand and keep taking notes when and where, where required. You will be requiring it later on, so it is very important to maintain the record. We shall begin. See. Whom they brought her warrior dead. She nor snoot nor uttered cry. All her maidens watching said, She must weep or she will die. Whom they brought. Who brought? Others brought. Whom? The warrior. Not alive but dead. She nor snood, nor uttered cry. Who? We are talking. We are talking about the wife whose husband is a warrior and is dead. Now we shall look into its explanation. See, her husband, a soldier. Her husband is a soldier who succumbed in the battlefield and has been brought dead. And as a result, she neither fainted nor uttered a cry. Why? See, this is a very common situation. When we see our near and dear ones, you know, when they are dead, our, we, it's very natural to observe our tears rolling, rolling down our cheeks, right? But here, the wife's husband is dead, but the wife is not at all reacting. She neither uttered a cry nor she fainted. Why is it like this? Why is she reacting in an abnormal way? Basically, she was grief stricken. The extreme unexpected sorrow made her feel so bad that she turned into a stone and there was no reaction. At that situation, the maidens, the wife's friend, okay, the maidens, the maidens, those who have gathered around her, thought that if this situation continues and she and if she remains like a stone that will be harmful to her because the conflict the damage in the mind the extreme sorrow may me make her ill this is the reason why the maidens wanted her to cry or else she might die now we will slowly see the different efforts put by her maidens in order to turn her emotion into emotion. Now we'll come to the next fourth stanza. See, then they praised him soft and low, called him worthy to be loved, truest friend and noblest foe, yet she neither spoke nor moved. This is the this is an effort which is being put forward by the maidens, like what I told you earlier. Okay, let us look into its explanation. In order to turn the wife's emotion into motion, the maidens started praising the dead soldier. They, st they stated that the soldier was a noble friend, he was a nice person, uh, he was a noble person, even as an enemy he was noble. But their efforts did not hit her inner feeling and she remained the same. See in the last line it is said, yet she neither spoke nor moved. So she is not at all reacting to the efforts that are being put forward by the maidens. She is still uh, the same like a stone, sitting like a stone with no reactions at all. Now we come to the next stanza. Stole a maiden from her place, lightly to the warrior slept. Took the face cloth from the face, 
yet she neither moved nor wept. Now this is another round of effort. See, another maiden, what did she do? She got up from her place and removed the cloth from the dead soldier's face. See, usually when a uh, dead body is brought, the whole body and the face is covered. So this maiden thought of removing the cloth from the dead body's face with an intention that if she does that um, a lot of memories will flash back you know a lot of their memories will uh, flash back um, in the mind of the wife and uh, maybe she could relate and then cry so another maiden got up from her place and removed the cloth from the dead soldier's face thinking that the moment the wife looks into her dead husband's face a lot of memories will flash back a lot of memory of theirs will flash back and she would cry but the intensity of the trauma was so high that she remained the same and did not respond the wife's behavior was creating a concern and now Rose, a nurse of 90 years, set his child upon her knee. Like summer tempest came her tears. Sweet, my child, I live for thee. Now this stanza is very important. See, at last an old lady, aged 90, no? an old lady, 90 years of age, here, 90 is not a mathematical figure. This 90 reflects the experience. So, a very experienced old nurse, she rises up from her place, picks up the baby of the dead soldier and quietly places the baby on the wife's lap. Now, what happened? This situation is compared to the tempest the storm see like summer tempest came her tears as soon as the old lady the 90 years old lady the very experienced lady placed the child the dead warrior's child on his wife's lap what happened like heavy storm you know, similar to the heavy storm now what happens what happens when there is a heavy storm the rain comes down okay similarly the lady could not control her tears. Tears rolled down her face like shar. And this is where the experience of the aged nurse clicked. See, we find the uh, lady crying heavily. And what did she say? Look at the last line. Sweet my child, I live for thee. So, when the child was placed on her lap, this is the moment when the lady realizes the responsibilities. This is where the lady started realizing the responsibility she has to shoulder and, the, and will have to give the best tribute no? and the best tribute of her uh, to her husband. What would be the best tribute? That would be to develop her child and pay the tribute to her husband. This is the situation when the sense of responsibility um, uh, suddenly grows, she realizes, she comes back to the reality. She realizes that she has the responsibility of growing her child. And this is the moment where tear, we find tears roll down her cheek. See, in the poem we find that war affects the human life so badly. Though Alfred... Tennyson is not a war poet. I will again explain you the poem in a nutshell. See, this is a very sensitive poem titled Whom They Brought Her, Warrior Dead, written by Alfred Tennyson. Here we find a situation where a dead soldier is brought and his wife is not at all reacting to the situation. The wife is as still as stone and um, she is behaving in an abnormal way not crying and just sitting still 
so in this poem we find the several efforts that are put forward by her maidens in order to bring her to bring her back to the reality to make her cry to make her realize that uh, she has a responsibility to be taken care of okay see whom they brought her warrior dead she nor snoot nor uttered cry all her maidens watching said she must weep or she will die so when the dead warrior was brought home the wife was not at all reacting seeing her abnormal behavior the maidens thought that she needs to immediately react to the situation or else she may fall ill and she may also not survive then they praised him soft and low called him worthy to be loved truest friend and noblest foe yet she neither spoke nor moved the first effort the initial effort that was put forward by them they said one of them said that the uh, dead soldier was a nice person he was a noble person even as an enemy he was noble um, so they were basically praising him because they were in a belief that if they praise his um, his uh, her husband she will she will somehow relate and this may make her cry that would bring back to the normal situation next we find a maiden who slowly comes out of her uh, place and removes the cloth from the uh, dead soldier's face she was in a belief that uh, if she if, if she is doing that the wife on seeing the uh, face of her dead husband she uh, a lot of memory of their will flash back in her mind and as this happened she can easily relate uh, and this will again help her come back to the reality but none of the efforts basically worked she was she was in the same condition she, she was like a stone sitting not reacting at all but it was very necessary for her to cry otherwise that would that would spoil her health at last the most crucial stanza what do we see we see an experienced nurse uh, in the poem uh, it it is written that rose a nurse of 90 years i'll again repeat this 90 years is not a mathematical expression in the poem it clearly reflects the experience that the lady has gained this 90 years old lady she has a lot of experience what does she do she quietly places the child the dead soldier's child on the lap of his wife and as soon as uh, she does that the wife comes back to the reality we find her crying and this is compared to the tempest like after a storm uh, there is a there is heavy rainfall we see this is what we observe in this case as well this situation situation is basically compared we find the lady crying her tears rolling down her cheeks so we see that the experience of the 90 years lady is clicked this is the moment when the wife realizes that she will have to shoulder a responsibility she will have to take care of her child this is the only way she can pay back the tribute to her husband i hope the poem is clear to all of you now we will slowly proceed into the questions so i'll again tell you please keep a copy and a pen beside you and keep on taking notes we'll be requiring this later now we'll come to its question answer i'll be repeating it twice please keep a note the first question is who is the chief character in the poem and why i repeat who is the chief character in the poem and why the 90 years old experienced lady is the chief character in the poem i repeat the 90 years old experienced lady is the chief character in the poem why because it was her action that molded the situation and had led to a conclusion i repeat it was her action whose action the 90 years old lady's action that molded the situation and had led to a conclusion you have seen after her action the uh, the wife had cried 
so the 90 years old lady is the chief character in the poem next question why did the maidens say that she must weep or she will die i repeat why did the maidens say that she must weep or she will die they said so because they felt that she is too soft to survive as she was not into the reality so it was important for her to cry and release the emotions i repeat the maidens said that she must weep or she will die because they initially thought that she is too soft to survive as she was not into the reality so it was important for her to cry and release the emotions next question how did the old nurse succeed where others had failed i repeat how did the old nurse succeed while others had failed why do you think the poet has mentioned her age how did the old nurse succeed we know it she uh, by placing the child on on the on her wife on the dead warrior's wife and most importantly reminding the responsibility that she will have to shoulder so how did the old nurse succeed she, the old nurse succeeded by placing the child and reminding the wife the responsibility that she will have to shoulder next part of the question why do you think the poet her has mentioned her age i have i already have mentioned it to you that it is basically not a mathematical figure that the poet wants us to know but it is reflecting her experience so why do you think the poet her has mentioned her age the poet has mentioned her age in order to reflect the experience